as you're listening, take some notes down. If you have any questions, I'm going to capture some questions up here, and then we're going to do some interaction with the audience. So let's start right down the order. We'll start with Greg. What do you love about Take Shape Fly? Uh, well, thank, thank you, Greg, for uh, me to be on this panel. It's an honor to speak with you today. Um, I love lots of things about Take Shape Fly. I've actually had a list of 10. I probably only got three minutes to run or two minutes. But I'm at least trying to get through the top five. Um, the major thing for me is that I filled a huge void in my practice. Uh, according to the Center for Disease Control, 2.1 million people in America die every year. Two out of three of those deaths are preventable. And if you look at the primary causes of preventable death, number one is obesity-related disease. Over 450,000 people die every year from obesity-related disease. And what do we do in, in medicine, conventional medicine? We really don't have anything to offer for that. As Dr. Ray explained yesterday, we have a lot of things that don't work. Um, and I was frustrated about that for years until it takes you to life. Uh, so I really uh, provided the avenue uh, to address that problem that was, that was lacking in practice. Second thing about Take Shape for Life is that, as opposed to a lot of different companies, that you have to adjust what you do to what they want you to do. Take Shape for Life asks you what you want to do and customizes the, the approach to what you need, what your patients need. And that was really great for my practice because I was very busy. Um, didn't have a lot of time, and so we put appropriate we use all the Take Shape Life tools, we use the tools, they let them work for you. Um, with signage in our office, I have a BMI chart in your exam room, and a, a graphic from the uh, Cleveland Clinic, what I call it. Um, Quality. Quality. Oh. Right. <laughs> um, and so a lot of times the conversation started before I even was a patient's fingers on the BMI and looking at all of me. Um, the conversation gets started before I even go, and so because that, we've had huge success uh, in the practice. As I mentioned, we've today, 6,000 pounds weight loss in the first year, many medications and medical problems gone. And that's literally transformed my practice uh, to one of uh, now giving hope um, as opposed to just treating disease. And that's really important. Um, I had an episode, I used to work in critical care unit, and a number of years ago, I had a lady who was critically ill, was on respiratory for 100 days, um, and she pulled through, and I met with her a while after when she was back to help, and she said, I want to thank you that every day you came to the ICU, that um, you told me what the plan was for the day, and you squeezed my shoulder and said, I'll see you tomorrow. And I think that as health coaches, that's what we do. We give people that hope. She said, that was my hope for the next 24 hours. I knew I would survive in the next 24 hours, because you said, you see me tomorrow. And, and a lot of patients who have tried seven, eight, nine, ten different programs have lost hope. And those calls that we give, the text messages, the emails every week, continue to give them that message that they can do this. And that's their lifeline. And so and that's critically important with what we do. And not only transform our practice, but then you know, as healthcare professionals, we want to go on healthcare. So um, I, with my wife, who has a little bit of energy and a lot of enthusiasm, <laughs> and a dedicated team of health coaches, we've not only been able to help a couple hundred patients a year with this practice, but with those expanding our reach, we want to help tens of thousands of people a year. And as a health professional, that really gets me going. So I know I sometimes don't show it for you, Dr. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty passionate about this. The last thing I want to share is that um, it's learning. I love the learning of TJ Black. But my very first day in medical school, this 86 year old emeritus professor of medicine came up and said, and said, I have one thing to tell you never stop learning. The day you stop learning is the day you should retire. Um, and I took that part. And uh, every event I go to, I learn something that takes shape of life. This uh, is not medicine, it's something different, it's a new business. Um, and there's always something to learn from our mentors, from each event, uh, from every client, um, and everything we do. And so, at some point, we're going to retire from medicine, but I'll never retire from the HHA. Healthier asking me for medication.
medications to help them lose weight so they don't get, get on other medications for blood pressure diabetes. It didn't make sense. And so when I saw on the, you know, at that point we didn't have the AMRs on the chart that said um, wants to lose weight, like, oh, I'm going to tell them about, you know, eating healthy, exercising, eating less, and how's that going to work? Because, you know, I've done it before, and patients look at me and say, yeah, I want to do it, maybe, and then nothing happens, they come back, and I have to prescribe more and more medications. So I really actually was looking for a system to get them, to help them get healthy, and I want to be part of it. That instead of saying, you know, Atkins and this and that, I want something that was effective and fine based. So, um, really, six and, a half, six and a half years ago, it's been wonderful. Um, I've been um, helping my patients get healthy, and that's why I wanted want to see um, something that's effective. Um, you know, now patients give me hugs and, and, um, and sit, jump on the scale and <laughs> we cry to them instead of in the past, they like cry because I'm writing something. So it's been um, easy, 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 easy to incorporate in the practice. Um, all I do is, like you said, the signage thing while well, offering potentially something. And if they're not ready, that's fine. I'll guide them through something else. Uh, we talked about in you know, Dr. A's book. That's a great way to get started on their health, even if they don't want to do the system. And if they're ready to do the system, it's there. They know I'm there. And you know, they trust us, so they know we have their best health in mind. Uh, what else? Um, it's fun. It's easy. And uh, getting people started on the plan, all I did, initially I was working really full time. Um, I told them, hey, I do have something. If you'd like to know a little bit about it, I didn't go into much detail. Got their information, had them fill out the client profile sheet, and the next two days later, have them look at the website, and then I call them. You know, my phone call would be maybe 15 minutes or so just explaining it. If they're ready, I, I actually put them on it, not even in the office, it was outside of my free time. Uh, but it didn't take that long. And I built it to the point where I have uh, patients that have become coaches, and they're spreading it forward to other people, you know, outside of my sphere of influence. So it's really, I mean, the mission of the company is getting America healthy, and I can't get so many people healthy, but they have so many other people that they can help. And I think we're on our way to get America healthy. Over a million people have gotten that way. And um, we still have a lot of work, but we're going to get there. Yeah. Woo! So, I love to shape your life. And let me share with you a little bit about me. I've been in healthcare for over 30 years, and I have a women's healthcare practice as a nurse practitioner for about 23 years. And I guess it would start with me having the opportunity to create my own health, you know, having lost my weight and really being able to get my life back because my friend and my health coach cared enough to be able to share the program with me. You know, in our practice in women's health care, we have very intimate relationships with our patients. And because of that, what I saw was their declining health. I saw them getting heavier, I saw them being younger and younger and being on more medications, but also I saw the quality of life declining. And working with women as I did every day, really seeing the fact that they were losing that zest for life. I was now prescribing a lot more mood medications. They didn't have the energy to be with their kids when they came home from school. They didn't have the physical ability to walk their kids to school because their feet and their knees and everything hurt. And we had been referring our patients to whatever diet program we thought in town would be effective, but year after year it became more frustrating as a healthcare provider because nothing worked. Then I found the program for myself, and that gave me a tool now that I can able to offer my patients. You know, I went into healthcare as a nurse practitioner because I wanted to focus on wellness, and that's why I never went to medical school. But as a nurse practitioner, I was now trending more over to the other side of focusing on disease. So I did take shape for life. I now have the ability to offer my patients that physical health. But what I also have the ability to do is with take shape for life, because of the program that we have to offer, I now have the ability to change their lives in so many ways. And to have a patient come in and, like you said, want to get on the scale, but more importantly than that, want to share with you how awesome their life is now, 
because we have the ability to change their lives in such a profound way. You know, I can look kind of cute in my white coat with a stethoscope and a prescription pad, but that doesn't create health, does it? You guys, every one of you in the room, have the ability to create health for your, for your clients in a way that none of us can with our years of degrees. So thank you for that.
a biopsy real life revealed that she had a uh, precancerous lesion of the lining of her uterus. And to reverse that, she needed to lose weight. So I said to her, I said, look, you know, your obesity is the catalyst that's creating this precancer, and you will have cancer if you do nothing. So we got to work on your obesity. Well, she poked me in the belly at that time because I was just under 300 pounds. <laughs> and she said, have you looked at the mirror? <laughs> Hard to review that. Well, I went to a medical conference and uh, I was introduced to Take Shape for Life by meeting with Miguel. Yeah. And I'm forever, forever grateful. Um, interesting first meeting, but we won't go there. <laughs> let's, let's move forward though. That night, because I went to this booth, doctors help your patients lose weight and lose some, uh, and add some value and, and dollars to your practice bottom line. I really didn't care about the practice bottom line because I was a hospital employee and they kind of dictated what I could do anyway. So that night, one of my daughters called and said, Daddy, um, we're afraid you're going to die. And for six months prior to that, I went to the YMCA and I did work out six days a week, an hour and a half a day, and I lost $750, which is a family member. <laughs> and two whole pounds. That's $350. $75 an hour. Um, <laughs> so I, I was really reluctant. Six times, seven times to Whitney's booth before I finally said, okay, fine, here's my credit card, let's do this. Got out of the program, and uh, you know, I'm analytical, so I had to have my own controlled study, not really controlled. My brother started Nutrisystem, I started to take shape for life. 13 weeks later, he dropped 45 pounds, I was really proud of Steve. I dropped 65. <laughs> Um, three months later, you know, he had gained 55, I dropped 20 more, 20 more, you know, so it was really exciting. I was able to get rid of 90 pounds, and then my wife was really hot. I picked up my weight off because she didn't believe it was going to work. She decided that her husband shouldn't wear smaller jeans than her, <laughs> and that I was getting really close to her weight, so all of a sudden, my peanut butter crunch bars, my Dutch chocolate shakes, were M I A. She became a client, lost 75 pounds in six months, results not typical, but those were cool. And uh, the neatest thing about this program is I became the example that I should have always been. I should have been one as a physician, should have been one as a husband, a father. Um, my, I lost 90, my wife lost 75, my oldest daughter 25, my middle daughter 12, my youngest daughter 15. That's 217 pounds of this counting, which is pretty exciting for just five of us. But then things changed. Um, all of a sudden, everything I trained for my life on May 10, 2013, went away. I developed the C. Miller Fisher variant of Guillaume Barre with fine motor control problems, double vision. I lost my reflexes, unrelenting headaches, four milligrams of morphine every two hours to try to deal with pain. Hospitalized for eight days. And you know what? Nobody from my hospital organization that I worked for came to see me, came to check on me, asked what I was doing. I was a disposable doctor. I don't think they really cared. My nurses, my office staff, they were all there. That was great. But on the second day, Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson called me on the phone and said, you know, Whitney's really worried about you, Larry. Um, what's going on? He and Lori, his wife, were on the phone with Lori and I, my wife. And we spent about 30 minutes chatting that day. It was amazing to know that I was in a family that really cared. That, that multiplied over the next couple of days. Three days later, over 300 contacts from my Take Shape for Life family, either in voicemail, email, phone call, Facebook message, instant message. It, it was astounding. I never thought that I wouldn't be delivering babies and poems in my 70s. I'm so thankful that I have a plan B. My plan B was already up and running. And even though for about six months, I kind of went into a slump where I thought I lost my identity, Whitney asked me the question, you know, how many people, how many lives have you touched in the company that sent us numbers? And I told her, and she says, well, with our team, you know, we've touched over 85,000 lives. And that was like, well, the gun lives off. Yeah. <laughs> and it's time to impact more lives. And I'm so thankful that Dr. Anderson, Dan Bell, Whitney Cal, Greg Rex, and all the leaders in Take Shape for Life 
and you as my family give into my life.